Welcome to the Optoma Chameleon GB200 Auto Blending Tutorial. During this video, I will walk you through step by step in order to successfully achieve an auto blend using a camera. We'll begin by connecting our LAN cables from our GB200 channel 1 and channel 2 to our LAN hub. Then we'll connect our master LAN cable from the hub to our laptop or control PC. And then we'll connect our HDMI cable from our input PC source to the HDMI splitter. And from the HDMI splitter we take two outputs to the inputs of the GB200 processor. We'll continue by taking the outputs of the GB200 processors to the projectors. Output 1 will go to projector 1 and output 2 will go to projector 2. Lastly, we'll connect the USB port from our camera to our computer and we reset the camera to the correct position. and then you'll have your final setup ready for your auto blending project. Once the auto blending software has been installed in your laptop, then double click on the GP200 icon and you will see two menus. One that says Smart Planner and the other one that says Auto Blend. To begin, we'll click on Smart Planner and we'll assign the values of the screen width, the screen height, and the distance between the bottom of the screen to the floor. Then we will select the type of setup we will have, a ceiling mount or a desktop. And on the model name, there is a drop-down menu. You'll find most of our projector models to make your setup easier and quicker. We'll select the ZW212 and we'll click on Start. And uh, these programs will give us a detailed layout of where the projectors need to be set um, in terms of throw distance and the separation between each projector, together with the height and the distance of the camera and the height of the camera in accordance to the size of the screen that we have selected. Once we've retrieved the measurements from the Smart Planner, we'll click on Auto Blend. On the Auto Blend menu, we'll have the option of assigning each IP address. By default, the Chameleon GB200 has 192.168.0.11 for one channel and 192.168.0.12 for the other channel. Then we'll select the resolutions. You could auto blend at XGA, WXGA, and 1080p resolutions. And in this case, this projector's native resolution is WXGA. We'll leave it on WXGA and we will connect to the GB200. We'll see some flashes on the screen changing to different colors between magenta and orange. That means the box is connecting. And once it's finished connecting, then we'll see a message warning us that if we still see the magenta flashings, we need to connect to the blending system again. But in this case, we have an image, therefore we are good to go. We'll continue by clicking on camera calibration. On this menu, you will have a pop-up screen reminding you to set the camera correctly. And also it will give us an option of choosing the type of camera we want to use for the setup. In this case we are using a Logitech C920 Pro Full HD camera. Once selecting the camera, you will see on the preview screen of the software your projected image with a green frame. This frame indicates the maximum viewing range of the camera when taking the pictures. 
In order to successfully auto-blend, you have to make sure that the screen area is inside or equal to the screen frame shown on the preview image of the software. Once you are done setting up the camera, you will click Finish and then you will see Projector 1 and Projector 2 showing different patterns for the camera calibration. We will see some dots on the screen to help the camera calibrate the contrast and gamma values in order to start the auto blending. We'll continue with step 3, fit corners to screen, and during this step we can crop the image to fit the blended image exactly to the screen area. On this menu we'll have the option to move the four corners to the desired area. This can be done by moving every one of the four black dots shown on the screen pixel by pixel or 10 pixels at every time. We'll follow exactly the same process on the right projector. Once the screen area has been selected on the four corners, we'll click Finished to crop the picture matching the screen area. When the Fit to Corners step is finished, the Start button will be enabled. This means you are ready to begin the Auto Blend. This process should not take more than 3 minutes. During this step, the GB200 processor will send patterns to each projector similar to the camera calibration process. The camera will take pictures of the dotted patterns sent to the left projector and then to the dotted patterns sent to the right projectors. These pictures are saved on the control PC and the information is sent to the GB200 to calculate the overlap area with the total width and height of the screen. Lastly, the camera will take pictures of the patterns sent to align the overlap area and comparing the position of the left and right projector will warp the image to finalize the auto blend. Once this step is finished, we'll see our final blended image. However, the gamma correction will be applied slowly to the left and right hand side of the overlap areas. When this process is finished, the projector will flash, and this means that the processor is saving the settings, and then we'll receive a message which says, if you are not able to see the whole image, then please reset the HDMI splitter. If you're able to see the full image, then you don't have to worry, but if the image hasn't been scaled, then you'll have to reboot your HDMI splitter or your input source. If you would like to fine-tune the final setup and you think that the bottom image is not aligned to the margins of the screen, we have an option called Boundary Tool. This option will allow you to warp in real time the image and I will show you how it works. You can select each corner of the screen and move it pixel by pixel or 10 pixel at a time. The way I'm doing it on the bottom left corner. Once you are happy with the final picture that matches with your screen boundaries, then you will click Finished and your auto blending will be done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you would like to know more information about the Chameleon GB200, please visit Optima at www.optima.co.uk.